Not all half reactions are simple, as zinc going to zinc two plus and two electrons. Those are nice and simple ones. Some of them are more complicated. They involve polyatomic ions and H pluses and a couple chemicals as a reactant and a couple chemicals as a product. <clears throat> so when we're balancing those ones, um, they often come in acidic or basic conditions. The textbook, I believe, has some basic conditions, uh, but the the uh, exam board for Alberta education does not test basic conditions, only acidic conditions. And so we're only going to cover acidic conditions this year. Uh, you'll do basic conditions in university or AP chemistry. Okay, so uh, we have this little phrase that's going to help us along the way of remembering what to do. So remember we had this little like balance your species and then balance your charges. It was like two steps for the like chlorine, for example. Um, we're gonna, we have just more steps to do here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna balance our species. We're gonna balance our major, this is a phrase that we use to help us remember, major, O-H-E. So our major is the science 10 balancing, just the normal balancing, except for you're gonna leave your oxygens and hydrogens to last. We're gonna take care of them in a special way. So when you get to your oxygens, you're gonna balance those by adding water. And then you're going to move to your hydrogens, and you're going to balance those by adding your H pluses, because these are in acidic conditions, and acidic is H plus. And then your left-hand side, right-hand side on the charges won't be balanced. So all of your chemicals will be balanced, like all of the nucleuses, the nuclei will be balanced, but not the electrons, not the charges. So we're going to add electrons in order to have the left-hand side and the right-hand side's charge equal. Okay, this takes some practice, but it really is as simple as this. If you have this memorized and you follow the steps and you trust the process, you can't get these wrong. But it does take some practice to build your confidence and to memorize these steps. So here we go. So uh, I have this kind of like skeletal reaction. I know that these two are my re main reactants and these two are my main products. And so I'm going to pick out of this little situation that this guy must have become this guy and that this guy must have become this guy okay and i have to treat them separately so the first one i'll do is this one i'm going to say hey my no2 minuses became no3 minuses and then i'm going to say that my mno4 minuses became my mn2 pluses so this is going to be one of the half reactions, and this is going to be the other half reaction. One will be reduction, the other will be oxidation, and then together they make the net. If when you're finished you end up with them both being oxidation, you've done something wrong, go back and fix it. One of them will be reduction, and one of them will be oxidation. Okay, so, where's my blue marker? We're going to balance our major species, everything except for uh, the hydrogens and oxygen. So one nitrogen, one nitrogen. Done. So my major is done. Then I'm going to balance my O's by adding water. So I have three O's on this side, two O's on this side. So I have to add a water. Now I have three oxygens and three oxygens. Done. Then I'm going to balance my hydrogens by adding H pluses. I've just made two hydrogens appear in this equation. So I have two hydrogens on the left hand side. I need two H pluses on the right hand side so that the H is balanced. Now lastly, I need to balance my electrons, my charges. So on this side, so far, I happen to have one, oops, not one E, one negative and a neutral. And on this side, I have one negative and I have two positives. So in total, this makes one positive, right? One negative and two positives make one positive. These aren't balanced. Negative one on this side, positive one on that side, not balanced. So I have to add two electrons onto this side of the equation so that now I have, hold on a minute, this is still one minus, this is still two plus, this is now two minus, and two minuses, two pluses, and one minus make one minus. Now we're charged. Now we're balanced, I mean. My charges are balanced. Negative one, negative one. Yay! So this is my half reaction done now. Just gonna erase these guys so that they're not in our way. 
This is this half reaction. I can see that this is a loss of electrons. This is my oxidation half reaction. And my reducing agent is my NO2 minus. So the reducing agent is the starting point there, my NO2 minus. Okay, and it has to exist in a partnership with the NO2 minus and the water. Okay, that's it. That's the half reaction. Let's try that again for this half reaction. The first thing I have to do is my major species. MN and MN, done. Then I have to balance my oxygens by adding water. I have four oxygens on this side. I need four waters on this side. So I have four O's and four O's, done. Then I'm balancing my hydrogens by adding H pluses. I have eight hydrogens on this side. I need eight H pluses on this side. So the hydrogens now balance, done. Now I'm going to balance my electrons. I mean, I'm balancing my charges by adding electrons. I have eight positives here. I have one negative here. So in total, I have seven positives on the left-hand side. Here I have a two positive, I have a neutral, so I have two positives on this side. If I add five electrons onto this side, that's five negatives, now this becomes two positive. So I have two positives and two positives, so that's now balanced. This is gaining electrons. Gain of electrons is reduction. This is my reduction half reaction. And so this is my oxidizing agent then is that acidified permanganate, H plus and permanganate ion. Okay, so then putting this all together, I have two half reactions in order to build a net reaction. I have to balance, I have two halves. The next step is to balance the electrons, right? So I have five electrons on this side, two electrons on this side. I need 10 electrons in total, whoops. So I need to balance this by five. So it's gonna be five waters, five nitrates, five of those, 10 of those to give me my 10 electrons. And I need to multiply this by two so that I have my 10 electrons, my 16 H pluses, my two MnO2s, my two M those things, and eight uh, waters if I take my two all the way through. Okay, so let's write this all down. I have five waters and I have five NO2 minuses and that makes five NO3 minuses and 10 H pluses. Oopsies, I forgot the other stuff. Well, it's okay, I'll figure it in. H pluses and 10 electrons, but those 10 electrons are gonna cancel out these 10 electrons. I also have 16 H pluses and I have two MnO4 minuses. And also my products, I have two Mn2 pluses and I have eight waters. Now that was a lot, but I'm still not done. Because I can see on this side of the equation, I have five waters. And on this side of the equation, I have eight waters. So actually simplifying that, I don't have any waters on this side and I have three waters on this side. There's another one that can do that. I have 16 H pluses and 10 H pluses. So actually those 10 H pluses will cancel out and I will only have six H pluses on this side. Now I'm done. Two MnO4 minuses and six H pluses and five NO2 minuses give me five NO3 minuses, two Mn2 pluses and three waters. That is my net ionic equation. Like I said, trust the process. Major OH, take your skeleton, say I've got, I know that this is becoming this and this is becoming this. Then I major OHE this, I major OHE that, I add up my reactants, or I balance my electrons, I mean, add up my reactants, add up my products, cancel things out that need to be canceled out. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so here's a disproportionation example. So I have this becoming these guys. So this is disproportionation because this element or the thing, the reactant is becoming that one product and it's becoming this other product. When you have a reactant that is both oxidized and reduced, 
then it is a disproportionation reaction. So my skeletons are going to look like this. My skeleton reactions are going to look like this. My I2 is becoming I minus, and then a different I2 is becoming IO3 minus. So there's my two skeletons for my two half reactions. So going back to major OHE, right? The first thing I do is I'm going to balance my major species. I have two I's here. I need two I's there. You should always have two I's. Then major O. I balance my oxygens by adding water. No oxygens to balance. Then I balance my H's by adding H pluses. No H pluses. Then I balance my electrons by adding my charges. So I have two negatives here. I want to have two electrons here in order to have that balanced reaction. Now you could have done this in outcome A. You could have done this right from the beginning. You didn't need to know you you didn't need to know or use major OHE to do this, but you can still do it and you just go, oh, I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need that. You just needed the, the species and the charges. Okay, anyway, this is gaining electrons reduction half reaction. This is my oxidizing agent. For this one, balance your major first. So my major is my eyes, two eyes, two eyes. Oh, balance your oxygens by adding water. So here I have um, uh, six oxygens. So I need six waters on this side. Six oxygens, six oxygens. Then major O, balance your hydrogens by adding H pluses. I have 12 hydrogens here, so I need 12 H pluses on this side. Then major O, H, E, balance your electrons or balance your charges by adding electrons. So here I have 12 pluses and two minuses, so I have 10 pluses in total. On this side, it's neutral. So I'm going to need to add 10 electrons onto that side to have 10 minuses, 10 positives, then they become neutral as well. Left-hand side equals the right-hand side now. So this was losing electrons. This is an oxidation half reaction, and that must be my reducing agent. That must mean that my reducing agent is I2. So there's the two halves of the story. I now need to write the full story here. So the full story is going to be, I have to balance my electrons first. I've got my two halves, balance the electrons, write your net. So here's my two halves, balance my electrons. Ten electrons being lost, two electrons being gained. I need five of these to make ten and ten electrons. So ten electrons will cancel out ten electrons. So on this side of the equation, I have five I2s. And I have another I2, and I have water, right? Or six waters, pardon me, and six waters. So I have five I2s, and then on this side I have another I2 and six waters. So those are all my reactants. So these are going to become six I2s and six waters, right? I combine those. Arrow. On this hand side, on this side of the equation, I have ten I minuses. And I have two IO3 minuses and 12 H pluses. And those 10 electrons will cancel the other 10 electrons. I have nothing on here that can cancel out because nothing is the same on the left and right. So this is done now. This is my net redox reaction. And that is done. So when you have a disproportionation reaction, you, you just need to remember that you split it up into two things again. But the starting is the same on those two half reactions. Okay, so that's major OHE. Trust the process. It kind of gets a bit like convoluted throughout. But if you trust the process, split it up, do your major OHE, do your major OHE, balance your electrons, write your net. You can't go wrong. It's the same thing every time. It's the same pattern, although like it feels really like, whoa, what, what are all these like numbers and symbols flying around the page? But it really is. Have your two skeletons, major OHE this guy, major OHE that guy, balance your electrons, write your net.